Sanson, Quinn being watched by Mavert, but he's shaken him off. Chance for Arsenal here, across the face of the goal, and a glorious chance for Arsenal to snatch a lead in the second minute of the game. When Niall Quinn, the big six foot four Irishman, shook off the attentions of Gary Mavert. There's Mavert losing out in that struggle. Quinn is through, Clements coming out, the ball going wide. Joe Thomas towards Clive Allen. Well, Klassen trying to get in as well, and might succeed! Oh, just wide! So, nip and tuck by both sides. Quinn at one end, and Klassen at the other, when Arsenal for a moment looked in disarray in defence. Both Clive Allen and Nico Klassen going for this ball. There's Clive Allen. Suddenly it goes Klassen's way, and the bounce certainly goes his way. Agonisingly close. Came with a throw. Leary stretches out his legs. It should come for Waddle. Oh, a fine save by Lukic. The linesman was flagging on the far side. And Waddle can't see what was wrong with that. But it's, it looked for a moment as though it was a serious error there by David O'Leary. Really stretching out there. And it fell for Chris Waddle. Hit it first time and a lovely piece of goalkeeping free for the way he's been handling uh, Niall Quinn. And there he was again. Viv Anderson and pounced on well. And Quinn goes in and the Spurs players protect their goalkeeper and remonstrate with the referee for the way that the big Arsenal number nine came in on Ray Clements. It was Anderson's header. see the header from Viv Anderson and it was pounced on well there by Ray Clements and if we can just move it on a little further we'll see Niall Quinn coming in and yes indeed he caught Clements on the side of the head no score finding his cousin Paul Allen oh he's checked his man well looking to get a cross in and it might come for Waddle into the side netting. Well, he took it quickly and hit the side netting. After some great work there by Paul Allen, a ricochet that took it off the Arsenal player. Oh, that comes through the Rowcastle. He thought about hitting it first time. Past the post for a goal kick. It certainly crossed David Rowcastle's mind to whack that first time. He changed his mind, and that maybe is where he lost out. Although it looked from that picture as though Gary Stevens may have been uh, covering that first shot. And the opponent is he's running and holding as well. And most times he gets the free kicks given his way, as indeed he has here. We're having a good free kick in there. And a chance! Clem Allen! <laughs> well, it's just about the first thing he's done on the night. Apart from one pretty unpleasant tackle that looked in the first half. Up goes Richard Goff, finished off superbly, striker style. By Clive Allen. Davis. Allenson onside. Now here's a chance for Arsenal. Goff trying to close him down. He's got it! It's 1-1! One, one. Yet another Arsenal comeback. Yet another surprise for Tottenham. And still more jubilation for Arsenal. Oh, Thomas. Just wide. 
Spurs under the cosh now. And I suppose Thomas might have felt that he could have done even a bit better than that. O'Leary with the kick. Deep, deep one. Quinn hoping to get on the end of it. It comes for Allenson. Driven first time. It might go anywhere. Real castle. Arsenal are through to Wembley. record of Arsenal. They are through to Wembley. One of the great Littlewoods Cup comebacks. Those two late, late goals. One by Ian Allenson and then the winner from David Rowcastle. Take Arsenal through to Wembley. So, a cup tie that's been full of astonishing twists, save the most dramatic and the most savage one, right to the very end. There's the hero of the hour, David Rowcastle. And the man who scored the first goal, the number 12, Ian Allenson.